Welcome into Saturday Morning Slam. My name is Will Strauss. And I'm Brady Hicks. And we have a jam packed show for you today, filled with exciting matches, plus the opportunity to hear from your favorite ECWA stars. We're hearing now that Clutch Rockwell has something to say about the World One title. ECWA fans, Clutch Rockwell here, the most defendingest World One champion in professional. That's not a word? No, defending. What the f is going on? Folks, we are just hours away from the 2022 ECWA Women's Super 8 Tournament. There's still time to grab your tickets online right now at ecwawrestling.com and head to the Monster Factory in Paulsboro, New Jersey for our 2 p.m. bell time. You won't want to miss this tournament. History will indeed be made in Paulsboro, New Jersey tonight. In addition to the tournament action, Erica Lee is scheduled to defend her ECWA Legacy Championship. Now, let's head to some tag team action.
Saturday morning slam. We've got a big announcement coming up, Brady. It is, it is huge. It is going to rock the foundation. It's... Here we go. Son of a... Mike Slam. Almost like a variation of a spine buster. It's going to the top. Thinking body press here, but... No, we got the marvelous ones. There we Teddy go. Teddy fine there throws him go. up. He rolls through, though. Teddy saw him Super slipping. Super kick on the outside. Greg Spitz goes flying. Moran ducks out of the way. Kick to the, kick to the face there. Suplex into the ring. No. There we go. Slips the legs as he stalled on that. Two, Two holds the legs three. down. His, oh, my goodness. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Look at the shock on Bobby Baran's face right now. Bernie, today should be the greatest day of your life. You are now officially a marvelous one. No, it's not. It's Bernie. It's Bernie. Okay? It's Bernie. You are a marvelous one. So drop those. And I got you a special present. Folks, on our last episode, Sweet Reginald sent us a VHS tape that we had to transcribe and make it into a digital format and air the footage, so we asked him not to do that anymore. And of course, this week, he sponsored another match featuring his brand new tag team partner, Bobby Buran, who unfortunately lost a match where he now has to be the butler to Sweet Reginald. And in this one, Bobby Buran is in action, and I apologize for the quality because once again, Sweet Reginald sent it to us on a VHS tape. Let's head to ringside. Saturday morning slam. Here we are. <laughs> Here we are. Here we are. We have Bobby Baran versus Mike D. Robinson. Going for a test of strength here. No, if he gives his full name, why would he wear a mask? You'd have to ask him that. Baran wisely seeking out the ropes there. Oh, that'll give you a Charlie horse. Right or into two the back or of three, the four, one more. Maybe looking to take out the legs early. Bobby Baran, you know, if you take out that leg, it makes it really, really difficult for Bobby Baran to do his high flying stuff. Well, not so much a high flyer, but he's, his one move is the high cross body off the top rope. Sure, try to do that on one leg. Exactly. That wrist Re lock there. Reversed by Baran, and right now we got a little grip, bit of a grip fighting. power struggle going on there. Blocking the sanding switch there. Mike D. Robinson looking to switch out here, do reversal into the ropes. Robinson gonna roll through. Baran holds on though, look Goes at this. Goes the cover, it's ing ingenious cover there. I gotta say, the kid is wily. Yeah. Very resourceful. Yep. Always finding unique ways to do things. He's, you know, young in his career. Mike D. Robinson's been around from Baltimore, Maryland. Off the ropes here. Are you on his LinkedIn? LinkedIn. Brian, cover. cover. And almost a three. Well, Mike is hurting there. See, most people put on a mask after they lose to Baran. That would mean Baran has a couple victories under his belt. Knee lift there. Right Just hand to the temple, sends him right down. Kick to the kidney area. I don't think Mike liked being hurt that way. Robinson's the got cover. the cover. No. Tries it again, same result. And, and a little too close to the ropes for, for my liking. I, I would pull him more to the middle. Easy for us to say as we sit here at the commentators. Body slam with authority. Those who can't do teach, right? Nonchalant cover there. Bobby Baran trying to fight back here to the midsection. Seeks off to go the off the ropes. 
And then look at that clothesline, just ran right into it. Nearly sliced him in half there. I think he got a throat. Moran struggling to breathe right now. Can Robinson uh, take advantage of this? Learns from it and delivers one of his own, does Baran. Two in a row. You can see he put all of those force into that as he went to the knee with the clothesline. Again, another lariat Ooh. there. Baran, quick cover, two. You're not gonna beat Robinson that easy. Look how fired up Baran is right here. He can smell victory. Lifts him onto the top rope. Spilled onto the ground there. I don't think that worked the way Baran thought, but he's gonna try it again. He's still in control of his opponent though. Robinson, again, put on the top rope. Props him up there. He's got both legs here. What's he gonna plan to do here? Oh! Just unceremoniously throws him to the ground. Two and three. The, the Baran slam. Robinson is gonna have a long, time to think driving back to Baltimore. Trapped the legs and then just threw them down back first. What a victory for Bobby Baran. With just about three hours remaining until the ECWA Women's Super 8 Tournament, we're here to confirm the first name into the ECWA Tag Team Super 8 Tournament, which will take place at 4 p.m. on September 17th. And that team is none other than the main event. Let's head to a World 1 title match right now as Clutch Rockwell defends the title against one half of the Flabtastics, Abs Armstrong. And here we go. World 1, you're not aware of this, Brady, but the World 1 title is on the line. We failed to tell you anything about this one. Well, I, I listen, those are pleasant surprises, and this is certainly one of, it's like Christmas morning here. Clutch Rockwell defending the title against Abs Armstrong. <laughs> get a bell going. It's oh. like they reversed their gear a little bit. Like somebody got the orange trunks with the knee pads. Yeah. They were just like, ah, oh, I'll little, get the top, you get the bottom. Little inverse there. Kind of inverse with their bodies as well. Yes. <laughs> Abs Armstrong pushes him into the corner and it's going to be a break right there. I, uh, I, it'll be interesting for sure. I mean, Clutch has been in the zone as of late with his title defenses. He said he wants to make the World 1 title the title of Saturday Morning Slam, and he's definitely on the, in the process of doing so. Abs Ab Armstrong going for some chain wrestling, which is not his specialty. In fact, I don't know that he knows how to get out of this here. <laughs> yep, well, he's stuck. He's in trouble now. Uh, that is not good, but if he can get to the ropes, I mean, he does have that size advantage, a little bit more of a reach. He's He's listening Ooh. to you, and he's trying to take your advice, but Clutch Rockwell. That's the uh, close, intimate atmosphere of Saturday Morning Slam here. Yeah, he's trying to, oh, and look at this, Clutch Rockwell not allowing him any opportunity to get to the rope, so he's going to have to figure up. And there's that power that I was talking about. If, uh, if Abs can find a way to exploit that extra size, I mean, he has a real shot here. Clean break, though. I'd appreciate that. It's all about tradition and legacy here in ECWA. Lock up now between both men. Uh-oh. Abs once again. Yep. I didn't think he was going to know how to get out of this one. Clutch Rockwell. We saw this last time against Sweet Reginald using the same move. Abs, the, the look of agony in his face. And, of course, there's a five count there, but Clutch more than happy to oblige. Rockwell just keeps peering back and, and just taking a gander at what he's in the ring with. Oh wait, I've never seen that actually work! Sweeps the leg. Must be a fan of Cobra Kai there. Oh. Very rigid. Yeah, I, I, rigid I, think, I think he wants a figure four. If he's gonna get it is another story. I, I don't know if you can do it yeah. from that angle. All right, he's getting, oh, it's a spinning All toe right. hold. That's oh, a, a famous okay. Famous spinning toe hold there. Okay. Applied by, and he just lets him go, because. He well, wasn't ready. He wasn't well, ready yet. Either way, either way, that's really smart, though. If you can take Clutch off his feet, that's an advantage. Oh, wait. Reverse. Oh, wait. Russian leg sweep oh, in the middle of the down. ring. <laughs> Abs did not want to do that. One, two. Oh, two count only. Looks like Abs Armstrong's abs are becoming a little hyperextended there with all the effort. Going to whip him into the corner very hard. They're definitely fading. As is he at this point in the match. Well, you know, it's worth, it's worth mentioning. There's 100-degree weather outside right now, and uh, there's not a lot in, in the line of cool. 
So, this is a lot. I mean, you want to talk cool, let's talk Ref Bob here, who saves his best referee slides for Saturday Morning Slam. Watch wow. what you're going to see here coming Showing up. off on TV. That's what he does. He saves it for the big picture. <laughs> Abs uh, Armstrong. Maybe like a stump pull, maybe? He's going for a stump puller, but he's working the wrong camera, of course. Yeah. <laughs> he does the hard cameras right behind him. Yeah. Uh, yep. If only the fans oh, could no. see what we see. No. Oh, they're tangled up. This is like Saturday morning wrestling with my 12-year-old friends. <laughs> oh, what? No, when I was 12. Oh, I mean, not okay. now. All right. All right. Not right. now. Concerning. No, <laughs> no, no. I wouldn't admit that. Abs, could he re Oh, he gets there. Sue. Watch Rockwell backing up. Once again, taking a look at what he's in the ring with. Very unsure. Just soaking it all in right now. First, uh, top turnbuckle. Abs Armstrong's going to have to find a way to reverse the momentum here, or this is going to be over. Third one's the charm. And down he goes. Backing up into the corner. Up, oh, Clutch Rockwell. Oh, he found that hard camera. Uh oh. There He's firing is. up. Oh, oh no! Well, oh, he's going to blind him. A forehead noogie. Snapmare. Beautiful textbook snapmare and, and clutch. I think maybe trying to decide how he's going to torture abs now. A uh, seated abdominal stretch. Ironically enough. Oh, crucifix. Two. And somehow abs Armstrong finds a way to kick out. Oh, off the pin here. Backslide perhaps. No, abs too strong. Oh. Oh. Abs, abs is Two. not... I don't know how he found his way out of that one. I don't think he knows how he found out of, out of that one. Abs' back is pink and almost bloody right now from this beating in the ring. And now he finally got that fourth corner. Ooh. He finally hit the fourth corner after all this. Yeah, it's the, the, back of the, head. the little things with Clutch Rockwell, you know, hitting all four corners, uh, making sure to find the hard cam. The ultimate professional. He might have just broke that middle rope there, too. It didn't sound good. And Abs maybe going to capitalize. Oh, perhaps that free fall. If he hits this, we might have a new champion. No. Nope. Oh, Bulldog takes him down. Clutch Rockwell tried to avoid it with no luck. Oh, what is this? I thought he was going for a reverse power. What the oh, fuck? boy. <laughs> and the bridge, but only a... Yeah. This is one of the more intense matchups I've ever seen. As uh, Ab's trying to get to his feet right now. What was that? Oh. Does that one have a name? Oh, Super Chest. It's called What a Maneuver. Clutch going to catch him. Take Sweeps. him down. Oh. There you go. Now that's a. Uh, now that's a. No! Oh no, he's putting the pressure on the knee. Abs is going to give up here. There's no way. He's going for the ropes. That's it. That's all she wrote. That is going to do it. Another successful title defense here for Clutch Rockwell. Potentially the most significant champion in ECWA. The World One champion. Clutch Rockwell with the big defense. Folks, before we close things out, we have one more name for the ECWA Tag Team Super 8 on September 17th at 4 p.m. And that team is none other than Gummy Boar, Erica Lee, and Boar. It's a double shot show that day. There's going to be a 4 p.m. Tag Team Super 8. And then Pretzel Mania 5 comes to you live at 7 p.m. on September 17th. Be sure to grab your tickets right now at ECWAWrestling.com for a huge historic day of pro wrestling action. Don't forget, we are less than three hours away right now from the 2022 ECWA Women's Super 8 Tournament. That means there's still time. Get in your car. Head to Paulsboro. Join us tonight for what will be a historic night. The 2022 ECWA Women's Super 8 Tournament, a bucket list item for any professional wrestling fans. Thank you for joining us today on Saturday Morning Slam, and we'll see you next time.